Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fraction word problems involving subtraction. Let's jump into number one, where we have Caleb hiked one half of the trail. AJ hiked four fifths of the trail. How much more of the trail did AJ hike than Caleb? We are finding the difference between the amount of the trail Caleb hiked and the amount of the trail AJ hiked. Whenever we find the difference between two values, we subtract. Now AJ hiked more of the trail, so that's the fraction that's going to come first. Four fifths is greater than one half. So we need to do four fifths minus one half. Now we do not have a common denominator here, so we can't subtract quite yet. We need to find a common denominator for five and two, and then we can subtract. 10 is going to be our lowest common denominator between five and two. So let's rename these with that common denominator of 10. Now keep in mind, these are going to be equivalent fractions once we rename them. So we're not changing the value of our original fractions. Let's start by renaming four fifths. We know that five times two gives us that denominator of 10. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So four times two, that gives us eight. Our renamed fraction with the denominator of 10 is eight tenths. And again, this is an equivalent fraction. So we're not changing the value of anything here. Now for one half, we know that two times five gives us that denominator of 10. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator in order to keep this equivalent. So we need to do one times five. That gives us five. So our renamed fraction here is five tenths. Now we are ready to subtract since we have a common denominator. So we'll start by subtracting the numerators. Eight minus five gives us three. And then we keep our denominator of 10. So our answer is three tenths. So to answer the question, how much more of the trail did AJ hike than Caleb? Well, three tenths of the trail. Now three tenths is in simplest form, so we do not need to simplify here. Now let's move on to number two, where we have Ava had seven eighths of a gallon of paint. She used two thirds of a gallon for a home project. How much paint does Ava have left? So Ava started with seven eighths of a gallon of paint and then used two thirds of a gallon. So we are subtracting here. We're starting with seven eighths of a gallon and subtracting two thirds of a gallon to see how much paint is left. Now, do we have a common denominator here? No, so we can't subtract yet. So we need to find a common denominator and rename these fractions with that common denominator. The lowest common denominator for eight and three is 24. So let's rename both of these fractions with that common denominator of 24. We'll start with seven eighths. We know that eight times three gives us that denominator of 24. That means we need to multiply the numerator by three as well in order to keep this equivalent. Seven times three gives us 21. So 21 24 is our renamed fraction. Now for two thirds. We know that three times eight gives us 24. So we need to do that to the numerator as well in order to keep this equivalent. Two times eight gives us 16. So 16 24 is our renamed fraction. And now both fractions have been renamed with that common denominator of 24. So we have a common denominator here. 
we can subtract now. Let's start with the numerators. 21 minus 16 gives us 5. And then we keep our denominator of 24 the same. So we get 5 24ths. So to answer the question, how much paint does Ava have left? Well, 5 24ths of a gallon. And 5 24ths is in simplest form. So there you have it. There are a couple of examples of fraction word problems involving subtraction. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.